Behind the political conflicts and economic crises that characterise Venezuela today, there is a hidden jewel of 1950s architecture in its capital. For Caracas, it was a magical decade, a period that also coincided with the arrival of European immigrants, which led to the creation of projects by world-renowned architects and artists. It was a generation of intellectuals, of architects who had a vision of the future and who thought that such a future was possible in Venezuelan society. And in the end, it wasn't. A good example is the Humboldt Hotel, a hotel that floats among the clouds. Located more than 2,000 metres above sea level, it can only be accessed by cable car or by road, with a rustic 4x4. Both the tower and its undulating arches can be seen from the city. The Hotel Humboldt is Venezuela's historical heritage and we are working to have it listed as a World Heritage Site, just as the University City, which is a contemporary piece, has been listed. Built between 1940 and 1960, the University City is recognised as a World Heritage Site. This complex of 40 buildings, with its unmistakable colourful facades, has integrated works by renowned artists such as Victor Vasarly, Jean Arp and Wilfredo Lam. However, the economic crisis that has plagued Venezuela since 2013 has led to its deterioration. What makes me sad is to understand on the one hand there are people who love the university very much but who have no opportunities. The last time I was here there was a problem in the Aula Magna. They are working with their fingernails to maintain the little that is left. Like the university city, many of the buildings of that golden age are in poor condition. They now symbolise a part of Venezuelan history that has gradually been forgotten.